How's it going YouTube? Kevin here once again. We got another update with Halo Infinite, the weekly update that we usually get, you know, every Tuesday. So I'm here to check it out and see if there's anything good that came with it. So first thing I'm sure you guys want to check out is the shop. The shop here, we got to see the sale of the Anubis. I believe this hasn't been on sale since like season one or something like that. A lot of people like it. Personally, I'm kind of holding off. This one I actually did buy back in the day. I actually did make a pretty funny short about this with this really cool eagle attachment on there. Uh, I'm probably on my assault rifle right here if you guys want to check it out. It does look kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. Not trying, not like I'm trying to promote this, but the first thing I did was like put this on right here. You can see like, yeah. It kind of stands out and looks pretty awesome. It doesn't, you don't really notice it too much though while you're in game, but like when you're just like looking at it like this right here, especially with like the uh, black and gold camo that you got from the Rockstar promotions. I mean like, ooh, that's looking good. The special delivery, what's this thing all about? Oh, okay, I've seen this. He has like a weapon charm. You get a visor right here, as well as a stance, which I mean, just kind of holding the weapon, but you can't even rotate these guys. So it's kind of like your face is in the way. Not really good stance, honestly, in my opinion, right there. And the splintered desert right there, which is just uh, some camo. Oh, you do get the, the bull horns attachment on the Warhog, which looks pretty awesome. Though, honestly, with the front attachments, though, they do look sick, not gonna lie. But the problem is that, like, when you're playing, you, you don't see it at all. You have a bunch of pretty good, like, desert type of camos here, which look pretty nice. For all the different vehicles right there that you would expect to utilize within the game. For 800 credits, though, that's a bit steep. I think I might hold off on it. But honestly, like, this is one of the few weapon attachments that we actually have in the game. And I actually kind of, I splurged on this one and picked it up back in the day. It does look pretty sick. It looks way better than that Cheeto, whatever, with that at the end of the battle rifle. So we have the return of the fan favorite, Social Slayer. This actually was a mode that I thought was actually pretty fun. So see if they uh, added in some new things when it comes to this playlist because usually 343 likes to kind of do that kind of stuff just to kind of spice it up a little bit so when it comes back, yeah, I got something new to do. Oh, uh, Rockin' Repulsors, we played this one before, but the worst part about it is on launch site. Ew, dude, just ew, I don't want that, but I guess we're gonna have to deal with this anyways, you know, but whatever. Hey, we got someone else who's being festive AF just like me over here. I love the coding that came with the Winter Contingency 1. First, I had to grind my way through, get that Santa hat, because obviously it's the holiday season. I had to jump in and grab that. Of course, Rocket Repulsor is actually kind of a fun mode, not gonna lie, because you get just to blow stuff up, and blowing stuff up is kind of like half the fun of playing video games. Like that guy, no problem. Got another one coming in. Oh, I dodged that stuff. Oh, nice way to start with a little double kill. Oh my. What? It, did, did, did I walk into one or was that thrown onto me or something? You have a rocket launcher, dude, and you throw a fusion coil on me? Oh my gosh. I'm stuttering over my words. I'm just such, I'm so dumbfounded. The one thing I did like about the Social Slayer playlist the first time it came around, it was just, it was just like something new to do. To have, uh, lean in a little bit more into like the fun side that Halo can provide for us. Uh, for such, well, pretty much the first entire year for the most part that like it's been ba pretty serious like, gameplay honestly And that's one thing I think Halo certainly excels in like the competitive settings for Halo that I think are amazing I mean there might be some tweaks here and there that I would like to see but for the most part I like getting double kills with rocket launchers But uh, for the most part that uh, you know playing social slayer is actually kind of a lot of fun because it's like just something fresh new something to do I was kind of hoping for something fresh, fresh and new to do within uh, the social slayer to return, but I mean, so far it just seems like it's just kind of like the same modes, but we'll make it like another game and see if anything new pops. I mean, I could just check the uh, the set list, wherever the game list that comes with this, but I mean, it kind of, it was a surprise, right? What comes going to come next? Or is that being like a properly educated gamer? One of those two things. Another one. Oh gosh. Wait, oh, repulse that. I'll do that one too. Oh man, fast reflexes by the guy while clambering to repulse. Jeez, and that was camo too. I can't believe that guy got me like that. Oh yeah, that's right, buddy. I know the blast radius of a rocket launcher. I'm very familiar. I feel like this game is certainly much more of a, might even be more of an event type of thing than the event playlist that we got for Halo Infinite because the sniper playlist that came with the winter contingency was honestly a little bit of a letdown in my opinion. Just because, like, it's like a game mode that we've had in Halo for uh, how many decades now at this point? Now we're starting that back to bay. Oh! And I talked about this in a previous video as well on the, on the channel here, just saying that, like, yeah, the winter contingency, like, wow, like, the event pass is really awesome. There just wasn't really anything that felt like, I don't know, the winter contingency. I know there was a big rumor about the glow ball slayer that I read about. And I'm assuming that it was probably something that was in the works, but then probably just got scrapped last minute. 
probably the reason why we didn't really get anything too crazy or fun when it comes to the oh my god they came to the winter contingency playlist or mode or event or whatever you want to call it uh but hey man the event pass was fun it was fun getting through it. this well shirt guy has just got my number and i just wish he didn't now it's not like i'm expecting some like crazy new game mode to come into halo infinite every single like week or anything like that but something a little bit you know variation of what you can do with this because like I couldn't imagine it taking too long to put together like a mode like rock repulses, right? You're taking all the in-game tools and you're just kind of mixing it up a little bit to have something different. Obviously, like you want to make sure the game mode is fun. I'm sure some people probably come up with their own kind of custom game modes. You're like, yeah, that's a good idea for you, but I'm not really enjoying it. Oh my gosh, you repulsed it back to me. Now I'm still kind of curious whoever okay, you know, the purple rain Pl slayer mode because uh, I'm not exactly a fan of that one because it just kind of Holding down the trigger and hoping for the best with like low gravity and needlers, but I mean it's kind of the aspect of Halo that's always been a really strong part of it. That it being kind of like a wacky party game, which honestly was one of the original intentions of CE with its multiplayer. It wasn't really meant to be like super fair, balanced, competitive kind of shooter. It was meant to be just kind of like a fun social party game for people to kind of get together on the weekends and play. But of course when CE was created, I mean, back in the early 2000s, that's kind of what multiplayer gaming was, at least on console for the most part. Like, yeah, you did have a like Counter-Strike and stuff like that. Well, they're going for that camo. Oh, oh my God. Dude, we're, I didn't realize this until right now, but we're getting absolutely smashed right now. 49 to 29 right now. Defeat. What? What? I mean, I, I appreciate the drip, dude, but what are you shooting at? I'm so confused. Oh my God, yes. Next game is Kong Slayer. I love it just because of how ridiculous this mode is. Which if you don't know, the whole idea of this mode is that you spawn in with a fusion coil and you try to make the best of it. Of course you got low gravity because of the lulls. But can I touch on what I was talking about earlier with uh, Combat Evolved, where it was back then when Combat Evolved was being created, there really wasn't much in the way of like online gaming. Well, actually it wasn't really much in the way of online gaming when it comes to play on console in general. Like, yeah, you basically had it on PC and people were playing Counter-Strike. That's kind of the whole idea behind it back then. But obviously, things have expanded quite a bit since then. But uh, see, it wasn't really meant to ever be like a super competitive game. It was meant to just be kind of like a fun party game to get together with your friends and uh, down the street, you know? Back when people used to play with people in person until it was like illegal. Obviously, it's totally illegal now. I'm just making a joke. Poorly constructed, poorly thought out, poorly executed, but you know, there was something there. Oh, okay. I'm getting a bunch of hit markers with this stuff. There we go. We finally got a kill with the fusion coil. God, I love that they added this in the Halo Infinite. One of the best. Oh, shoot. Oh, get back here. Get back. Yes. So while. In between matches here, I did actually check the uh, the game list here. I'm gonna bore you guys with reading stuff because reading isn't meant for video games. And uh, it looks like 343 didn't really change a whole lot when it came to the social player as in, well, anything really. Ew, oh, come on, you took my smash, man. So basically it's just social player like we had last time, but this time in December. Oh, we get some kills here. Double kill with the Kong, baby. Which honestly, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more when it comes to the game mode coming this around this time, but hey, you know, I guess already, someone was already taking the holiday break before it was the holiday. We'll get another one. There we go. Still around this corner, buddy. Yeah! Oh, yeah, another double kill. I take it. Oh, double kill. Triple, triple kill. We're kind of slain in Kong Slayer right now. Like a lie. Bonk. The bonks. Double bubble, double bonk. Dude, look at the kill feed. <laughs> so many people are leaving. Did people just lag out or something? Dude, people do not like Kong Slayer. I am a huge fan of Kong Slayer, so. I don't know why people are leaving. Maybe they're lagging out. I don't know. That would happen in Halo Infinite. You got this guy got overshield in the game. Oh my god, we just collided in freaking coils. No! Oh my gosh, I can't click right. Just get this guy. There we go. Seems like the grapple shot is pretty key especially on this map because if you're on the ground you're gonna get hit by a fusion coil basically if you got a, if you got a solid surface to get thrown onto it's going to happen like that right there like that like that right there dude that is not a good idea to just hang out on top mid even a regular slayer is not a good idea and top that guy fusion everyone with the fusion coils and grapple shots like that's like the worst thing you can possibly do oh how did i get that guy I didn't get him again! 
This guy's hiding in the map right here. Dude, my fusion coil. There we go. Look, my fusion coil fused into the wall. You see that? Hey, but anyways, we got the dub. Get this flex on the uh, the Christmas cheer, the holiday events, coatings and stuff like that. So I was gonna look at the playlist and get you guys excited about like what's coming next week and stuff like that. But uh, we don't even know what's happening until the 31st of this month. Afterwards, that uh, well, we don't really know what's happening with playlists. So we'll kind of just wait and see what happens. I'm assuming we'll probably see a similar rotation that we had in December. Maybe just in January, we have Sleep 4-3 comes back into the office. But hey, until then, guys, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you check out this video by YouTube suggested for you. You probably like it. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.